Howdy folks, welcome back to Silver Run Forest. Today we're going to do another Deadwood contract, but this time with a little bit of a twist. What I'm going to try to do is grind up the logs into wood chips and then uh, go off and sell those. So if I manage to fill up this trailer back here, I'll probably go dump them on my land and come back and get more. But anyway, let's hop right into it. I've already got uh, one tree cut down over there, but we need to go find some more. We're kind of right here in the middle. And I actually don't see any dead trees right away. One I cut down is over here. Oh, hey deer, how's it going? <laughs> There's the tree. I cut one down, it's, it's around here. Oh, here it is. I did take two sections of the log and I took the logs over to my property to see if they will stay there since they're on my property. Still trying to figure out the uh, contracting stuff. So here we go. This one and I think there was an update to the Lumberjack mod. I think I updated the cut speed again. I did. All right, cool. It just cuts way too fast in my opinion. All right, get this deal end. <laughs> I don't know of any kind of realistic way to do this. It's... There's so much brush over here, though. It's crazy. Uh, I forgot now how long I was cutting those. Five meters. Four meters. All right. So I was cutting those in four meter sections. I think that'll give me a, a good grab with the uh, skid steer that I've got. There we go. And another one at four meters. Try to get this recorded real quick. There's a lot of ruckus going on. We're getting ready to have people over tomorrow for Thanksgiving. I'm recording this on the day before Thanksgiving. Trying to get a quick recording session in. Got a turkey in the smoker. Turkey in the oven. <laughs> we, got a, we got a lot going on. So, happy Thanksgiving if you're celebrating. Uh, let's see. So, length is... Trying to interpret the two numbers I've got there. That's yeah, the second one I care about. Really wish I could move a little slower. All right, this one I'll just carry down by hand. Oh, where'd my hand go? Do. There we go. That's weird. Push our way through the brush. And I haven't actually used this chipper yet. I wish it had a longer, uh, longer snout on it. Let's get the Volvo fired up. So as you notice, I did a little purchasing between episodes. <laughs> With the old Volvo here. That turned on. Bought this uh, Jens 583 wood chipper, and I bought this gooseneck tipper as well. Decked out in Fedora Farms orange, at least as close as I could get it. The truck is blaze orange, and I, apparently I can't get that on everything. But this harkens way back to some of my FS17 series where uh, Fedora Farms had an orange motif. Oops, that was the wrong button. Do it this way. It's middle mouse to rotate. There we go. Come on, get in there. I thought I had a wood chipper mod with a really long tray on it. But then I couldn't find it. Oh, I forgot the lumberjack mod destroys the shorter branches. Okay, well. Let's go get some with this. See if we can get this to work out. As you can see, I got the wear level fixed. 
here on the skid steer. Not sure. Still not sure what happened there. But it's fixed now. Let's venture up into the brush. I see that one up there. There should be one right up here, too. Now, my concern is this is not going to be powerful enough to make it in these hills. I think part of that is probably the uh, REA mods that I've got going on, which are kind of cool. But they really do limit some of the antics you can get up to in regular farm sim. I ran into this when I was doing some of the rock contracts. It's a little slippy, and if you're not careful, you'll start digging into the ground. Oh, boy. Yeah, like, right here. I'm going to get stuck. <laughs> oh, boy. I might have to uh, do some mod tweaking. We'll see how it goes. That's cool. I found a mod called, I think it's called Tool Position Saver. And you can set hotkeys for like different positions of your tool. That's pretty handy. Brakes. Oh, brakes. <laughs> All right, let's get this down here. Let's see if we can get it up in the shipper. to make it is it going to go into the trailer in the next question can't, I can't quite see up in there it's not going in the tipper for some reason please start the engine first oh I hopped in the wrong thing get in the tractor. There we go. Is there some key I have to push here? Unload. It seems to be locked onto there. Why is it not going in the trailer? It's a great question. So I fixed the uh, the pickup volume. It's overwhelmed by the wood chipper right now. You see, it's locked right onto that trailer. All right, let me pause here and I'll figure out what's going on. All right, I think if we put another log in here, we're going to be in business. But I had to change the tires on this, which took quite a while. Uh, the Nokian tires, the REA wheels mod, apparently just considers those useless on any kind of a hill. Uh, these are a little better. A little better traction. But it's pretty crazy. I mean, this is a really steep hill, to be fair. I think it might have some of the uh, physics and slippage stuff a little overdone. That's not the base game, that's the uh, REA wheels, I think, is what's doing that. Which is kind of cool because it actually takes into account the kind of wheels that you have on your tractor or whatever. Let me get this fired back up. I'm hoping, once we get more wood through here, that it'll actually load the trailer, and that's too heavy, naturally. I'll tell you what, I'm going to cheat. Just in the interest of seeing if this is actually going to work. I should definitely have enough wood chips in there to be spitting that out. Why do you not want to spit out the wood chips? 
I know I can put wood chips in this trailer, because I tested that. You can see it's locked onto the trailer. Still faffing around trying to get this to work. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Don't have access to this land, so I can't spit it out on the ground. There's no other, like, controls here. Put the pipe in. Back out. I do have a manual discharge mod. Maybe that's messing with it. Alright, I'll be back once again. Alright, I do believe it was the manual discharge mod. I was just doing some testing. This should... Yeah, there we go. So apparently the manual discharge mod is not compatible with wood chippers for whatever reason. I used that mod in 19 because I like to have to, you know, push a key for your combines and stuff. It doesn't just automatically start spilling all over the ground anytime a trailer gets close. But uh, apparently that does not work uh, in this version of the game. So, let's start shipping. <laughs> I'm wondering if I need to get the winch on the tractor. Some of these things are just not going to be easy to get to. Uh, I brought those down. Let's go find some more. Oh, I didn't have the right tool selected. That's interesting. Yeah, play position. Some of my position two got reset. And now that mod doesn't work. Okay, mods are just breaking all over the place. <laughs> I don't know what's up. Let's go cut down some trees. There'd be some up in here, right? some back in here. Oh, look out for that rock. Brakes! The brakes don't seem very good on this skid steer. Someday I'll have to upgrade to a, a better one. Yeah, that's got the symbol on it. So, let's see if we can cut that down right back this direction. as I let go of the mouse button just a little too early. And man, it is so brushy back in here. So I guess that would be the advantage of dragging them out of here with a winch or a yarder or something. Am I? Seems really picky. All right, let's get down here to four meters. Seems about right for handling with the skid steer. Ok, 
get another four meters out of this. No, nope, it's going to delete it. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. I kind of go back and forth on the lumberjack mod. I don't like the fact that it like deletes the little limbs, and by default, it's twice as fast to cut. But I do like the measure part of it. That is super handy. And then having the uh, little extra colors on the markers and stuff like that, and having the super strength option if you need it to get around bugs and whatnot. So, yeah, you win some, you lose some with mods. Let's try that again. I'm really thinking I might have to go buy one of those new winches. I sure got a lot of good use out of the mod one back in the day. Alright, you're not wanting to roll backwards, so let's see if you'll just stay in there. I thought I didn't put a license plate on this. I, I don't know. I'm either not paying attention or farm sim is just kind of random with a lot of stuff. Probably me not paying attention. I did customize it with the wheels, so it probably defaulted to having a license plate and I didn't notice the change. I miss my good uh, log forks I had in uh, 17 and 19 with the straps. Didn't see those this time around. Turn that auto drive off. I haven't figured out a way to have auto drive not be on by default. All right, let's get the mass or the uh, Volvo fired up here. go and open the forks a bit let me get on there enough to get drawn in there he goes hey we got wood chips going in the trailer look at that like a boss and that tool yeah you know, the tool position safer mod is just not working now for whatever reason I'll see if I can figure that out off, off camera. So there's just more of this. I know this episode has been kind of all over the place. But Arm Sim is being a little bit of a challenge today. With that mod winch, you could get three or four logs on there. So I'm thinking... With these steep hills, well, actually, I don't know if the if that Volvo tractor would be able to get up on these with that mod. I really want to use the winch and the yarder, so I need a good excuse <laughs> to go by the winch. But it would take a while, though. We're kind of way up here, and I had auto drive drive this skid steer back from the store. It took a while. I went and did other things. Checked on the turkey and the smoker, stuff like that. Speaking of which, I gotta take a break here and get that get that turkey out of the smoker. Hey, get back in there. There you go. And I also may take another look around. I swear I had A wood chipper mod that had a big long extension on it. You could just lay logs on there. I might end up selling this back and finding something else. This is a little bit of a pain. Alright, you're closed. You're down. See, let me have you open. Now let's have you closed. So we pull this menu up. So it's set to play right now. If I hit Control Five, then we can reset. All right. So let's set position one, and then 
position two was up here in the air. And then we changed the mode back to... Oh, it automatically changes it. Okay. And if I hit that... Neither one of them works. Okay, cool. So it switches to play automatically. That might have been my bad. All right, and then set position two. Now it's back. Will it stay back? Who knows? How's the trailer looking? This thing holds quite a bit. Come on. Really? hundred and wait 18 liters is all we've got oh wow that deadwood is just like nothing like I knew it didn't weigh much okay this is this is not worth it I'll be uh, I'll be wood shipping other stuff but this is yeah okay this is totally not worth it at all change of plans gang <laughs> I'm gonna sell the wood chipper back and when we do actually go to wood ship, I'm going to find that uh, mod with that supports like whole logs. All right, we can turn you off. So yeah, well, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to finish out this contract uh, by cutting down the trees because I thought maybe we could make some money with the wood chipper, but the volume on these deadwood trees is just so low. Not even worth it. Well, it continues to be a learning process in more ways than one. <laughs> I'll finish out this contract and I guess I didn't show, I did buy some more land. So let's, let's bring that up as we close out the video, bring up farmland. So I bought uh, 31, 30 and 33. So we've got all this land here around my house now. I'm going to try to, I'm going to do some uh, investigation. Do I have a flat area? Where I could grow some grass and raise some sheep because we're going to need fabric at some point. I want to start doing the boat yard, I think, first. So, next episode, we'll be looking around the homestead, uh, culling out some trees, clearing some areas, seeing what we got to work with, and we'll continue marching forward, uh, being able to buy the boat yard and make some boats and eventually probably fix the roller coaster as well. But that'll be it for this one. Hard lesson learned these deadwood trees, just cut them down. It ain't worth it. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you in the next one. Timber!